Welcome to Crosstalk Solutions. My name's Chris and Ubiquiti just announced a new, not yet early access device called the Unified Dream Router, or as I am now calling it, the UDM Pro Lite. So this device kind of bridges the gap between the existing R2-D2 UDM and the UDM Pro. It has some really cool new features. Let's take a look at the video and I'll pause it as we're going to give you my thoughts. All right, there's our Star Wars intro. Introducing the Unified right, so right there. Dream Router. Boom, look at that. So first thing here, there is a small display screen on this thing that allows you to see your throughput. So that's really cool. One of the things that the UDM is missing is an ability to easily see what kind of throughput is going through that device. You know, they have that on the Amplify Alien, but they did not include that in the original UDM. All right, let's keep going. Right out of the box, the UDR is a plug and play Unify OS console featuring a built-in 4x4 enterprise Wi-Fi 6 access point. Okay, there we have our first big difference with the Unify Dream router. It includes a Wi-Fi 6 access point instead of the UDM, which just had a Wi-Fi 5 access point. So, you know, Wi-Fi 6 is... If you have a small environment, you're probably not gonna notice the difference between Wi-Fi 5 and Wi-Fi 6. Wi-Fi 6 is made for more dense environments, as in a larger number of clients that are connecting to your wireless network. So I don't know how much improvement this will make, but it is definitely starting to future-proof as more Wi-Fi 6 devices are coming out that will be able to connect to uh, this access point. All right, let's keep going. For the latest and fastest wireless connectivity, the built-in PoE Gigabit switch has two PoE ports that lets you power your devices right from the UDR. Okay, so there is a big, big improvement. Now, one of the biggest complaints that I received from YouTube comments about both the UDM and the original UDM Pro, not the UDM Pro SE, which does have PoE, but the UDM or the UDM Pro is it does not have any PoE ports. Now, in this case, if we scroll back a little bit here, we can see two PoE ports. Now they appear to be standard PoE, not PoE plus, but that's okay. If you are in a situation where you just wanna add an additional access point somewhere else in your house and you want it to be powered by this thing, or if you want a couple of cameras, cause we're gonna get to that part in a second. If you want a couple of cameras that can be powered by standard PoE, this is a great addition. And then of course, if you need more than that, well, you're gonna have to either use PoE injectors or get yourself a separate PoE switch. Switch has two PoE ports that lets you power your devices right from the UDR. The built-in 128 gigabyte SSD provides instant storage for Unify Protect video camera security deployment. Okay, so built-in 128 gigabyte SSD inside this device. Now that is a really cool feature, except for the fact that knowing what I know about Unify Protect, it's not really big enough, right? 128 gigs with these, you know, 1080p or 4K cameras does not hold a lot of history as far as your recordings go. It is expandable as we'll see it in a second, but then there's a different problem about that as well. So while I like that they have integrated this 128 gigabyte storage device, I think it's not gonna be incredibly useful for most people. Maybe if you just have one or two cameras, you'll be fine. But where I think this is actually better for Ubiquiti is that people are gonna buy like two Ubiquiti cameras, they're gonna connect them up to their Unify Dream router, and then very quickly they're gonna realize, oh, I only have five days worth of history or seven days worth of history. And since they already have an investment in the cameras, they're probably just gonna then upgrade to the UNVR. So if anything, I think including this small amount of storage space for Unify Protect in the Dream Router uh, is basically almost just a sales tool to get people into the larger NVR systems. And an SD slot allows for easy expansion. Okay, an SD slot that allows for easy expansion. But what do we know about cameras? They are very write intensive. And what do we know about SD cards? They can't handle, they're not gonna live forever, right? So putting an SD card into this thing for extra video storage, 
I don't think is a great call if you're seriously looking to have a for real surveillance system. Any for real surveillance system would not be running on an SD card. You would want, you know, RAID hard drive arrays, right? So, all right, let's keep going. The UDR sets up in minutes and is ready to run any Unify OS application and power your home. Okay, here's another new thing that they've kind of leaked in this video. Unify Connect application. So look at this, Connect over here on the far right. So just doing a little bit of research online, people have dug into the back end of their software and they've found references to Connect and they've also found references to things like Sonos and Ecobee. Right, so IoT devices. So my speculation for Connect, again, I don't have any special insight into Ubiquity, I just know how to search on the internet. Uh, my speculation into Connect is that this is going to be a hub of sorts that can control your IoT devices. So very much like kind of, uh, think like Home Assistant, but integrated into Unify. That's my best guess for what Connect is. Home or small business deployment everything you need for a complete Unify experience. The Unify Dream Router offers a simple, all-in-one platform into the world of Unify. Get started with Unify today at UI.com. Okay, so there's the Unify Dream Router. Now, what do I think about this thing? I think that this product makes the original UDM obsolete, right? So once this comes out, which let's talk about supply chain for a second, this is not even in early access yet. Once this hits early access, my guess is that it's going to be six to 12 months before it's out of early access and generally available. So imagine, you know, it could be up to a year from now before most people are gonna be able to get their hands on this device. Once it is released, I feel like it is a good product to get people started into Unify. It has Enough of Unify, you know, some protect capability, certainly Unify network and access and all that. So it has enough capabilities that you can get started with Unify from a single device. And it also allows for some level of expandability. With those two PoE ports, you can now string off an extra access point. You can string off a couple of cameras if you want. But I think very quickly, people are gonna buy this device and then realize hey, I need to get into some of the more advanced Unify stuff, or I need to expand my network with additional PoE switches or different components that aren't sort of included as the base of this thing. I think it's a really good jumping off point into Unify where people who get addicted to Unify like me uh, are gonna buy this and then start upgrading and eventually outgrow it. Okay, so there's my thoughts on the Unify Dream Router. What do you guys think? I will put a link to this video down below if you wanna check it out and make sure you subscribe to not only my channel, but Ubiquity's official channel where you can get notifications for releases just like this one that they put out yesterday. All right, my name is Chris with Crosstalk Solutions and thank you guys so much for watching.